Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I am here <laughs> on Friday, November 15th. <laughs> this is 8.40 p.m. My goodness, I didn't realize it was getting so late. I have two short messages I want to share with you that came in yesterday's and today's emails from Dawn. I'm trying to clear up emails because I didn't I've been falling behind, <laughs> so I'm so sorry I haven't gotten to everybody's emails, um, but I think I'm about to be caught up. Well, anyway, uh, let me share this one. This is a person I've never heard of now that Dawn has never, that I remember, has ever shared from. So if any of you have heard from this person or know of them through a blog, a website, a YouTube channel, whatever, uh, let me know um, and and what you think of them or give me a link to them or something. I'd like to, you know, check out more of what they've received. All right, it starts with November 12th, 2019, 7-11 p.m. Hello, brothers and sisters. I am being obedient to share this word from the Lord. I will continue to pray for our brethren to get into alignment and be protected under his covering. Share, if you feel led, the words you get to the right person according to his will and plan. God bless you and keep you all. Much love, your sister in Christ, Melinda. All right, and here's the message. My daughter, tell them to look. Look deep inside. Close your eyes. Open your heart. Let me in. I am knocking. I stand at the door. So many, so many have become deaf and blind, entranced by the material world. It grieves me, breaks my heart. I want to come in and set them free, but they will not let me. They have hardened their hearts. I call out to them now to turn back to me, my wayward children. Return to me now, lest destruction come upon you in an instant. I want to sup with them, but they won't let me. Turn back. Repent, little ones. Time is short. Your Savior, your King, your Deliverer. And that was, it's ended by saying, by Melinda Goss. Okay. That's G-O-S-S. -S. And I'll put that part in the description box also. Now, this other one is a gentleman, a young gentleman that you all know. Most of you. This is Cameron. He's sharing his messages with Dawn. Probably so more people will see them. Because I don't know how many, you know, China's a big place and Christianity is growing in leaps and bounds. So there's no telling how many get a hold of this. I don't know. But she's in Hong Kong so far. She hasn't said anything about them being in danger. Maybe she, if she has, I missed it, or she just doesn't put in. She doesn't put news like that in here. This is just prophetic words from different people. All right. I like the message from Marcia Burns. I often do. 
I'll go ahead and share hers also. She calls her little blog Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Make sure that you do not treat your life in the spirit as an elective or optional activity. You can do nothing meaningful and et eternal apart from a deep abiding connection with me, says the Lord. When you know me through spiritual relationship, the fruit will be evident. You will be forever changed. Well, yes, you are forever changed. It doesn't mean you can't backslide. I'll move on. Y'all can take that to the Lord. Just some things came to me. I wish I wish they ended better. I'd just like to hear the Lord say, you know, who he is. But that's me. I've asked him to do that for me. This other one is from Cameron Barnett. He says, Cameron, may you tell the people to not look back, for in less than a tick, I guess he means the tick of a clock, they will be home. Rejoice, heavens, and ye that dwell in them, for the supper has come. Worship who sits on the throne. Turn away from idols, or you will burn with them. I thought about that for a moment. Pause. Let me say pause. Turn away from idols. Okay. If we're Christians, we probably don't have Buddha statues or statues of the saints that we pray to. I hope you don't. I There's other things, other kinds of statues of other religions that sometimes people get as a souvenir. And they have a souvenir collection. You think the Lord's upset about that? Even though you... You might look at it five or ten seconds. Buddy, are you okay? Are you okay? You having a bad dream? You okay? I love you. I love you. Yeah, I know you love me too. He blinks when he means, I, when I tell him that, that's how he says yes to me. He's so sweet. He was breathing awful fast. I'm thinking the new stuff I started tonight. It's a new supplement. I was waiting until I ran out of the other stuff from Dr. Jones. To start that and it has hemp oil in it too and I gave him two of them and I probably should have only gave him one because I had already given him a, a third of a gummy and I don't he's okay though he woke right up he's breathing fine now I just so worried about him I don't know what more to do for him anyway we're in something important here so let me get back to this. All right, talking about idols. So, most likely he's not referring to those kinds of idols. So, what else other idols do we have? Could it be our computers? Could it be our TVs? 
Could it be a music collection that's not pleasing? What do you think? Put it in the comments. What kind of idols do Christians have that we need to burn? Or rather get rid of so we won't burn with them. Is how he put it. Turn away from idols or you will burn with them. Now he goes on to say, I come not only for my bride, but I come with vengeance upon the whole earth. Let not your hearts be troubled. If you are in me, surely you should not be afraid. Oh, he said shouldn't. We well, could say shouldn't if he wants to. You shouldn't be afraid. Let not your hearts be troubled. I am present when you pray. Even now I am with you. And you shall see me face to face for all of eternity Jesus. He just signs it Jesus this time. I'm not sure if he does it that way all the time or not. But I've never gotten a red flag from Cameron. So I was glad to share it. Do not look back in less than a tick. They will be home. Brothers and sisters, that's just sounding closer and closer. I think we're nearly there. I mean, think about it. So many potential days this month, and then there are potential days next month. And Israel has hit the 71-year mark. If you go by the year their constitution was signed, that was 49. I think it was May. So in May of this year, they completed 70 full years and they're in their 71st year. So they call it 71. When a baby is born, he's one. Or at least it used to be that way. From zero to one, you're one. From one to two years old, you're called two. I don't understand it, but that's how they did it. So anyway, they're in their 71st year. So a lot of people go by that. And not just that, there's so much other stuff. So much other evidence. The signs of the times. We know the stock market. Well, you know, they can make the stock market crash. They can also keep it floating. They've done it before. The Illuminati. They are the world's bankers. They can keep it afloat if they wanted. And they'll crash it when they want. For whatever reason. Well I'm going to end this here. Take these to the Lord. If you're not sure. But you want to know. Because he's your source. And if you haven't yet learned. How to hear his still small voice. You tell him. Lord I'm supposed to be able to hear from you. And I want to. And I'm going to I'm gonna pray, and then I'm going to be quiet. And I want to know, did Cameron Barnett hear this from you or this other person? If, you, if that's your question. You may have a different question. You may have a pressing need to move. And you found two places. And you need to know which one is his will. Maybe that's your question. Before you know it, you may get a phone call saying, 
I'm sorry, somebody already took that other apartment. Well, that door got closed. Maybe you're, then you're supposed to have the other one. I'm just saying, God works in mysterious ways. And he can speak to you in mysterious ways. It isn't always through the thought in your head. He can give you a dream. He can give you a vision. He can show you a scripture in the word that will actually answer your question for something in real life. You know what I'm saying. Not like move to the Jones Street address, <laughs> of course. But something. There may have been an eagle on a post where you can put a flag. And you may open your Bible and you'll read, They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will rise up on wings as eagles. And if that... You know, you may take that as your answer. I think I would tend to. But then I would probably pray on it some more and want another one. <laughs> because that's how we are, most people. When it's not 100% sure. Was that a coincidence, Lord? I want another one. <laughs> anyway, I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection. Oh, and one more thing before I do that. I made a video earlier. And I went to upload it. And it said, we'll be posted at midnight on the 16th. And I'm like, since when? I had to schedule it. Now I'm anxious when I get back over on my channel, because I'm recording this in my email, to see if it actually went up or not. <laughs> and if it didn't, I... Um, so I'm going to upload this one the old way, not in a new way. They've changed things. Anyway, they're driving me nuts. <laughs> I don't like change. Y'all know that. I've told you. Anyway, I'll, I'll finish it now. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection. And over each and every one of you and your computers and my computer and your internet connections. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and all your family and your home and your pets. I'll do all that later, though. That's what I I pray over everybody every night. Or with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you again soon. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if it was in person? It won't be long. You hang in there. Our redemption draws nigh. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.